hi friends welcome to my another video today in this video i will discuss about the difference between elcb and rccb the confusion between elcb and rccb is very obvious as both are serving the same purpose that is giving protection against the leakage current as the elcb and the rccb giving protection against the earth leakage fault the difference lies in the fact that how the elcb is giving protection against the earth leakage fault and how the rccb giving protection against the earth leakage fault so the function is same but the operation of elcb and rccb is different for giving the protection against the earth leakage fault in order to understand the difference between elcb and rccb let us understand first the operation of elcb and operation of rccb at the earth leakage fault condition let us understand the operation of elcb i am taking the normal condition here is the power supply source and it is connected first with the elcb and through the elcb it is connected with the load okay during the normal condition the current will flow through the elcb and through the load and it will return back to the neutral so at the normal condition the current is flowing through the elcb then through the load and it is returning back from the neutral but suppose an earth fault happen and the earth uh, and the phase is touching to the body of the load then there will be some small leakage current in the body of the load this time the current will flow through the elcb through the load through the neutral but this leakage current will also flow through the earth wire as the coil of the elcb is in series with the earth conductor then this coil of the elcb will get energized and it will give the signal to trip the elcb suppose this elcb has a sensitive rating as 30 milliampere at the normal condition let us take 10 ampere of current is flowing through the load but as the earth leakage fault happen at the load then some amount of the current which is going through the load will become as a leakage current let us take 1 ampere of current is leaking through the body of the load so this 1 ampere of current will flow through the earth conductor and it will energize this coil as the 1 ampere current is responsible for energizing the tripping coil of the elcb the elcb will trip as after any current of 30 milliampere if the coil get energized then it will trip the circuit after understanding the operation of elcb let us try to understand the operation of rccb this is the rccb the power supply is coming to the rccb and from the rccb the load is connected so the current will go like this to the rccb and then it will go to the load suppose at the normal condition there is 20 ampere of current is flowing through the rccb so as there is no any leakage current then the same current will return back from the neutral but in case of fault of course some amount of current which was coming through the phase will go to the body of the load in that case if 20 ampere of current is coming from the rccb to the load then due to this leakage current the same amount of current will not return back from the neutral this time let us take 19 ampere of current is flowing back through the neutral so there is the difference between the phase current and neutral current the cbct core balance current transformer will monitor every second the current between the phase and the neutral 
and if CBCT find that the current between the phase and neutral is not equal then this CBCT will activate the trip relay in order to trip the RCCB. Here we need to observe one very important point that in case of ELCB the earth conductor playing a very vital role in tripping of the ELCB as the leakage current is flowing through the earth conductor and it is activating the tripping coil of the ELCB. But in case of RCCB there is no role of earth conductor. Of course this current the, the 1 ampere current will flow through the earth conductor but the RCCB is not taking any feedback from the earth conductor. Even if there is no earth conductor the RCCB will trip. But in case of ELCB if there is a earth conductor then only the RCB sorry ELCB will trip. Let me elaborate this one. Suppose there is a leakage but due to some issue the earth conductor not connected with the load. Then what will happen? The tripping coil of the earth leakage circuit breaker will not energize as there is a missing earth. So even though there is a fault current earth leakage fault current in the load the ELCB will not trip as the earth is missing. So what we observe from here that in order to trip the ELCB the earth conductor playing a vital role but in RCCB case in order to trip the RCCB there is no role of earth conductor. Hope you got the idea how the ELCB is working and how the RCCB is working and what is the function of earth conductor in case of ELCB and how the earth conductor is not so important for the RCCB. If you understood how the ELCB is working and how the RCCB is working then it is very easy to make the difference between the ELCB and RCCB. So let's start our topic. The difference between ELCB and RCCB. The first difference is the earth leakage circuit breaker is the abbreviation of ELCB. The ELCB stands for earth leakage circuit breaker. In case of RCCB residual case circuit breaker is the abbreviation of RCCB residual case circuit breaker. The second difference between the ELCB and RCCB is that in the ELCB the trip coil is in series with the earth conductor or earth point as we seen here. The trip coil is in series with the earth conductor. But in the RCCB there is a core balance current transformer which is connected with the trip coil which we already seen. In the RCCB there is a core balance current transformer and it is connected with the trip relay or trip circuit. The third difference between ELCB and RCCB is that the operation that occur in case of ELCB is based on the voltage. But the operation which occurred in the RCCB is based on the current. What does it mean? Here you can see that when there is a earth leakage fault in the load then there is a earth leakage current flowing through the earth conductor and this earth, earth leakage current which is flowing through the earth conductor create a voltage in the coil tripping coil of the ELCB and after certain voltage which is directly related with the earth leakage current it will give signal to trip the ELCB. So here we can say that due to the induced voltage in the tripping coil of the ELCB the ELCB is getting operated. So we can say that the ELCB is voltage operating device but in case of RCCB the core balance current transformer is every fraction of second checking the current between the line conductor and the neutral conductor and if the core balance current transformer finding the difference between the line, con line current and neutral current it will energize the trip coil in order to trip the RCCB. So the RCCB is a current operating base device 
but the ELCB is a voltage operating base device. So that is the difference number three. Now let us move to the fourth difference. The ELCB device is costlier, but the RCCB device is less costlier. Suppose if we are going to buy one ELCB of 63 ampere, 30 amp 30 milliampere sensitive rating and one RCCB with the same brand and same rating then we have to pay maybe 1.5 to 2 time more money in case of ELCB. So the ELCB is more costlier than the RCCB. If we are paying 1 200 dirham for ELCB then for the RCCB, we have to pay only 150 to 120 dirham. Now the next point is the ELCB provide lesser performance as compared to the counterpart. But the RCCB provide better performance as compared to the counterpart. Means the RCCB is more sensitive than ELCB and the ELCB is less sensitive compared to RCCB. The operating range proposed by the ELCB is less but the operating range proposed by the RCCB is high. Meaning the ELCB you will find till the maximum range 63 ampere and 300 milli ampere sensitive range. Very few ELCB you will find with the range of 100 ampere but most commonly you will find till 63 ampere and the sensitive rating you will find most commonly till 30 300 milliampere of course below you will find 100 milliampere 50 milliampere and 30 milliampere but the rccb you will find easily till 100 ampere and till 500 milliampere so the rccb has greater range of operation than the elcb hope you got the difference between ELCB and RCCB, you find this video informative and you learn something new from this video. If you really like my video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We will meet in any other video. Till then take care, keep learning and bye bye. Thank you so much.